I am all for that. Long ago, the evil Bibbity somehow created the monster Majin Buu. I, I love how that's a, that's implied. Okay, so no, Bibbity didn't actually create Majin Buu. Majin Buu was a creature that already existed, but only woke up every, every few thousand years or something. But Bibbity just happened to be able to like crack him open and then somehow control him to a limited degree. There, there, there was no creation involved here. Unable to control sort of. Buu. Bibbity sealed him away and carried him to Earth. Why not destroy him? Jeez. Thus, when Bibbity was defeated by the Supreme Kai, Boo was thought to be neutralized. No one here checks their work, really. However, Bibbity had a son. A son with the same evil heart, Bobbity. Even though Bibbity was apparently the smart one who decided to seal Majin Buu away, I don't know why Bobbity thought he could control Majin Buu in his dad's stead, but okay. After bringing the Demon King Dabura under his that is fucking impressive, though. The fact that he just managed to subjugate the Demon King, which, yeah, that is kind of impressive. So I love how we have this intro, even though uh, I think the Broly arc in this game is implied to happen after. Well, usually, like in these games, it tends to imply that it happens after the series, but okay. Weird. Anyway, so dumb bullshit. <sighs> Stephanie, not only you're you're a great voice actress, but Jesus, he just starts in legendary. Jeez. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so I can I can guess I can talk about this in full. So I voiced my grievances over Broly before. He is. He has the dumbest backstory, but he's marginally okay, like as a character, sort of. So you just start off with uh, Legendary Super Saiyan, by the way. For the record, you're never gonna see... Oh, okay, I just can't take it off, I guess, right? Sure, okay. Uh, I think he does have his own version. Yes, he does, okay, he does have that. Good stuff. Uh... God, where do I even start with Broly's character? So I want to say straight up that I hate his his original backstory. I mentioned this in, in the, the tutorial for his combos, but no, Broly as a revamped character. Even though we had to, oh by the way, yes, he is giant on the overworld, and he does he has the stupid aura thing when he's flying around. Kind of cool. Uh, I'm kind of neutral the way it. it I've always thought like the whole yeah the whole orb or is kind of cool, but it just feels so overplayed. He lo he looks better with like regular sand ores in my opinion. But anyway, uh, I had a point. Right. So his original backstory. Upon rewatching all three of the original movies and the, the new movie, holy shit, his backstory is all over the place. So uh, where where are we again? Okay. So Broly's whole foundation of hating. Goku is based on the fact that he cried as a baby. Now, there's a couple of things I really did not like about this. One, uh, Broly was in a crib right next to Goku. There's no way he would have been able to see his face. Two, like, there's why would you remember that shit from when you were an infant? I mean, holy crap, why? <laughs> okay, then. And three, why would you hold that much of like a blood feud grudge against a specific person because of that? If nothing else, I would think he'd have a more deep state hatred of like King Vegeta or Frieza, but no, I guess not. That's the e fierce evil power. Except he, he's just kind of really dumb. Oh, the ruler just killed fucking Tien. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I guess that, that just happened. Ooh, and you though, hell yeah. So yeah, that's that's the beginning and end of why his backstory is really dumb. Now, luckily, bro Super Rolly, I'm just gonna be God. I don't want this part to just be me advertising Super Rolly because I can't do justice how much of an improvement Super Rolly is compared to the original one. Like, all that really happened was like he was given some more character and just a little bit more. But like, he's so adorable with like Chile, and like he he's such a he's such a big dumb like boy but it's so adorable oh, okay I guess we're just killing Krillin now right wait is this actually a fight I didn't think this was a fight holy shit okay well it's gonna, gonna be a bad matchup all right sure anyway so yeah uh that's why I really don't like now I know people are more engaged with Broly because 
you know, big, big dumb, uh, big, big boy who hit very hard. Uh, my skin is cold, my power is maximum, you know, all that shit. Personally, I think if you want that, uh, like, Super 13 is a better choice for having a big dumb character like that. Let me hit this line a little bit. So, I, I've never really been too big a fan of that. Uh, where, where else do I go with this, really? I guess something else, like, the fact that he is a, a, a Saiyan that is, or a Super Saiyan that is evil, is kinda unique, because... Before, the only other Saiyan, like, antagonist you had before this was... Turles and Vegeta from way back in the day. <clears throat> but at that point, all Super Saiyans were pretty much good, so... I guess it's kind of cool, but then you had the idea of a legendary Super Saiyan, and then that just kind of like brought up a whole like thing about how how many legendary Super Saiyans do you need? Because there there is Bardock, there's the, the Great Ape Super Saiyan, there's the Super Saiyan God, and then there's this guy now. It's just kind of it really begins to fall apart with this narrative if you have too many fucking Super Saiyans. Although it was funny that they actually did mention the legendary Super Saiyan by name in the movie, but it was such an afterthought. It was wonderful. <laughs> Awesome. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's my brief spiel about why I'm really not a fan of OG Broly. There's a lot of bad decisions that just kind of holds it back overall from being like a good product. Like, and, and then Second Coming is the worst of them all. Holy shit! Like, at least, at least with Legendary Super Saiyan, like the the Funimation soundtrack is dumb enough with a bunch of Ed, Edge Lord music that it it's kind of endearing. But then Second Coming is like, oh god, <laughs> the nobody who watched that movie ever remembers the fucking village scene at the beginning of the movie, and I think is the most charming thing in that movie. Oh, this! I have a thing to explain to you guys. Okay, so I mentioned this a long time ago, but there is okay, Ken Yamamoto soundtrack, or yeah, Ken Yamamoto soundtrack and lawsuit. He of course got sued because uh, there was a lot of music he used in Budokai games that were very similar to the original renditions. This song, I think it might be from the original soundtrack. Now, don't quote me. I'm just gonna let this play out for like 30 seconds and you tell me. Yeah, isn't that just a little too uh, uncanny? I shared this on Twitter, and Alex was like, I'm pretty sure that's from Budokai 2. And I'm relatively certain it is. I couldn't find an exact match, but I do know for a fact this was used in the original scores. So, uh, if I were to present this to to some companies, could I use this as, like, eligible financial compensation? Because I think I'm the one human being out there who's played through the entire story mode again. <laughs> I mean, not possible. <laughs> If, if, if anyone wants to credit me in a lawsuit, I mean, uh, I'll take uh, cash money. Sure, why not? Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like the one song. Again, because of the Kenji Yamamoto uh, lawsuit, all of the, the original Budokai 3, uh, 2, and 1 music was supposed to be scrubbed from the game. And that's why you have like Ultra Tenkaichi music, Raging Boss music, and all that stuff. As you can clearly tell, this is neither of those. Oopsie. Uh, yeah, uh... It also lends credence to what Brandon said about this game being developed in like six months because no one checked the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, no one bug checked Broly's ultimate, I'm getting my ass kicked, and no one like bothered to look, uh, sh sit through the entire song selection. Yeah, I think I'm actually breaking ground with this fucking Let's Play right now. This is ridiculous. And like, is this still the same video? Probably the same video. Yeah, uh, I've. Fucking hell, I debunked, like, an old rumor about this game, and I've also noticed something from a lawsuit that, f that fell through. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, someone could easily present this video to Namco Bandai, because I assure you, this is all 100% unedited. Okay, except for the, for the parts I'm cropping out where I'm not saying anything. But no, seriously. You could easily show this to Namco Bandai, and I'm pretty sure someone will get in trouble. Now that said, I'm... If this snuck through the cracks, I'd be willing to bet that there's at least one or two other songs that did slip through the cracks for the soundtrack. Yeah, 
Anyway, sorry, I've been on like a million tangents about everything so far. I haven't talked about the story proper once yet. Okay, so Broly's uh, story in this game doesn't really follow any one movie, like obviously because he's going from city to city blowing things up and finding people. You could always equate this to like Second Coming if like Gohan and Goten and Pan, Pan and Videl weren't there to like find him and like hold him off and defeat him, but... I don't know, this just really feels like lip service. Now something I want to personally point out, and this might be, mm, I don't know. This is going to be going to some gray territory. I don't know if this is going to line up, but okay, hear me out. So recently, um, there's a few YouTube channels out there that actually chronicle like a character's appearances in like every video game. And I noticed something particularly interesting, so. Uh, one of them was for Broly's appearances in the games. And I noticed there was a huge, huge jump in time from his debut game in like 94, 95 on like the NES until this game. Broly was on literally no video games in terms of like console releases or any game releases from that game up to this game's release. And I'm 100% convinced that the reason Broly is, has his own story in this game and it's even on the front fucking cover, is because Broly blew up so much in the West with Legendary Super Saiyan. Even though Spike... was this, Is it Spike right now? I think it's Spike. Pretty sure. Uh, no, it's Dimps? Dimps or Spike? I, Atari. Right, right. Sorry. Uh, even though this game was being developed in Japan? And you know that about that because of the fucked up voices for Cell? <laughs> It's just kind of weird, like, Japan must have fucking noticed the huge explosion of popularity of Broly in, the in like, the Western sphere. It's like, whoa, that'll ha happen over there, I don't know, but let's go make some fucking money. Funimation just knocked it out of the park, why not? So, yeah, um, let no one say that Funimation has never helped something take off in the West, especially with Dragon Ball. Holy crap, okay. That end, I guess, Full Metal Alchemist could be argued to be, the, to be the same, but yeah, no. I'm just relatively convinced that is, like, that's not a coincidence. In fact, I'm 100% convinced it is, it is not a coincidence. But anyway, enough about conspiracy theories. Let's continue with the story. Fun stuff. I have so many ground... I have so much fucking ground to cover in this game. My god. Oh, hey, see, I'm a user earlier. Cool. You, you can use that for yourself. I don't recommend it because you use, like, all your guard, but hey, it's, it's a neat gimmick. Why not? Anyway. <laughs> back on topic, or back on story, I guess. Is this okay? It's kid trunks. Hey, ugly. I really hate it when I get woken up early. Woken up early. Why are you sleeping in the middle of the grass field? Oh, I see. That's a reference to Second Coming, where like Broly first emerged and was causing havoc, like first thing in the morning in the mountains. Right. That explains that. Except it's Videl who first fought him. Oh, I see. Okay, this is kind of based off the second movie. Then got it. Stupid, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Not anyway. So yeah, um, I also do want to mention that like the second movie, considering that Funimation was using like licensed music for a lot of their shit, like they got they got a bunch of like underground people for uh, the second movie, which is funny because one of them is Pantera, but the rest of them like you've literally never heard of. Like I've never heard of them, and I listen to a good amount of like rock and metal music, so odd. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. If I'm able to get this off, I might actually kill him. And remember, at this point, I'm so equipped with that item that raises my attack and defense the longer a match goes. Ah, damn it, he's getting the right, right at the very end. Whoop. And now I'm sitting an on an idea I want to mention, maybe. Oh, I'm not sure. Oops. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, okay. God, Kid Trunks is... Wait, isn't this the very first time Kid Trunks is visible in the story? I think it might be. Oh yeah, there's the bad 16 by 9 again. Ooh, not do it. How the hell does Kid Trunks have as much attack power as me right now? What the hell? And escaped it narrowly, luckily. I do a blaster shell though, I need to try it out. Oop, okay. <laughs> the reason that worked, or the reason that reflected is because, uh, Activating all four of the face buttons also happens to buffer in a uh, guard, so it just kind of went through. 
really playing the defense right now. It's a smart move, but it's also annoying. Oh yeah, Broly's also got one of those permanent transformations. Like when you go legendary with him, you don't you can't revert back to regular Super Saiyan. Which I guess, according to the Dragon Ball Wiki, is called Super Saiyan C type. It's weird, but okay. Up, oh, back up. Hmm. Oh, okay, the whiff. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would never guess as it's Han either. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so when do I really start pissing people off? Mmm. <laughs> momentarily. Uh oh. Oops. God, he's so short. Fuck. And I'm so tall. There you go. Let's see. I just have to be careful because I can't, I can't guard again. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't think I would reach. God damn it. Anyway, so I'm going to say something that's really going to piss people off. Uh, excuse me. Got some homos. I got, I got to get really, really fast. Anyway, so. Um, because of the recent Vic Mignogna lawsuit. I know I'm going there. Holy shit, Bob. Why, why, are you, why are you opening this can of worms now? There's a reason. So, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, he recently came to Fighters, right? They actually changed uh, his voice in that game from Vic Mignogna to Johnny Young Bosch. And, uh, hot take. I am actually very in favor of that because... I've never really liked Vic as Broly. I mean, like, it's fine. It's one of those things that's just kind of been around since day one. He's able to do stuff sometimes, but Johnny is such a good screamer. <laughs> that might sound extreme. It might sound a little gay, but no, it's like Johnny's able to, like, hold a, hold a scream, like, r really well. It's actually kind of fucking impressive. Uh, yeah, no. Um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I decided to switch to the Super Broly as my main in that game. Because, uh, Fucking J JYB as Broly, I I'm a fan. It's unfortunate because like, it's one of those cases where Broly's been voiced by the same guy for like 15 years, so making a transition, it's rough. I've listened to some of the demo takes in Fighters and, uh, it's a little rocky. It could be a little bit, a little bit better, but for the most part, pretty good. It's gonna come into a zone over time. I can definitely tell that much. And I'm wondering if they might go back in put out a uh, edited version of Super Broly where they replace uh, Vic's lines with Johnny. I don't know if they're going to go that far, but considering that currently f there are no Broly movies on the Funimation app whatsoever, uh, yeah, I, I would be willing to buy that. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. <coughs> sorry. I'm getting a little off topic again. Uh, well, not really, but I just wanted to voice it really fast. There's been a lot of shit happening with Broly since I last covered his character. Like, what can I say? Storm 2 took borderline a whole year to record, so I'm going to talk about what I can talk about. Hey, go ten. Oh, this old joke. Kakarot. Kakarot. What? Carrot? Sorry, I've never even tried one. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, Brendan mentioned to me that, oh yeah, that's right. This is the point where Goten would never have seen uh, his dad before, or know that he was named Kakarot. Interesting how it works out. Anyway, so. Uh, God. I was just going to mention something. What the fuck was it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna say something else else controversial. Bio Broly is the best original Broly movie, hands down. Reason being is because the boys get to be the, the main characters, and that's honestly fucking amazing because they're hilarious and they're a treat in their own rights. All right. Oh wait, that might be unblockable. There we go. That's a decent combo, I think. I could have gone, I could have extended it a little bit more, but nah, it's fine. Ooh, the my friends. Okay, hold up. I wonder if I can. Ooh, yeah, the single lingering hitbox. <laughs> He's got this a fucking chunky hitbox. I was like, let's see if I can't get this to work. Why not? Ah, off my hair. And again, this white flash is a bug. <laughs> As we, it's probably been like at least one video by now. Go ahead and go back to that and see why I I say that. But yeah, 
Anyway, so this. Oh, wait, did he just heal? What the fuck? Okay, weird. But yeah, doing shoulder press raw is uh, rough. Wait, is that a fucking one bar? Jeez, seriously? Oh, God! I don't even know where I'm going anymore. That said, though, kind of good block pressure up front if uh, the opponent's uh, not smart. Now, let's see. Another thing I want to mention? Fuck, what was it? Nope. <laughs> that is not working. I need to use better combos against short characters. Fuck. Oh god, that would probably mean Kid Buu might be uh, one of his worst matchups. I can totally believe that, actually. Yeah, let's go for it again. Why not? Do it again. Enough, just enough key to go for one more blitz of it. Hell yeah. They never expect you to rip it twice. Ooh, wow, somehow I fucked one up and I still got it off. <laughs> Again, you can tell it's a bug because the fucking title, like, the text changes color. Like, it goes more for, like, almost grayscale. Anyway, so yeah, that's probably death. I hope. You fucked up if it's not. Ugh, fun times wrap by all. Anyway. There's definitely more on my, on my plate I wanted to talk about. What the hell was it? Um... But yeah, no, it, it, it's scary how much of like a stark jump it is from the original Broly's character to Super Broly because... <sighs> wow, okay. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly might legitimately be one of the worst villains introduced in the original Z movies and also overall villains because he's just so uninteresting and his backstory is incredibly stupid, but... When, and the movies themselves are actually terrible too. Like, legitimately, the art's great, but the the fights themselves are so bad. But Super Broly is like an actual character, and there's an actual like conclusive fight had with it and, with him, and it's he's just that was like a new, new main character, and that's so goddamn cool, and I love it. Like, th there's just no almost no contest. He goes from from being one of my most interesting characters to like. In my top 10. Like, I'm not joking about that. It, that's kind of hilarious. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> also, no, if you're expecting me to talk about it, I'm not going to make any more comments about the Vic Mignogna lawsuit, but just just bear in mind that when when the it was uh, the case was won by Funimation, uh, yeah, shit went south. And, uh, yeah. I'm uh, not really rooting for Vic in that lawsuit. Let's just uh, leave it at that. All right. So this is silly. Could this be a legendary Super Saiyan that Future Trunks warned us about? Hmm. 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 Was that legendary Super Saiyan that Future Trunks warned us about? And and Second Coming? Really now? Okay. So this is the thing. This this just completely like in in, in what's I want to look for uh, implies a lot of events happened off screen that, that didn't happen and like it's setting up like this this story's own fucking continuity. It's like it's implying that Future Trunks came back from the future having ha having gotten his shit beaten by Broly or something, warned him about Broly, and now Gohan is just now like expositing about it. What what the hell is this? And there's, oh God. It, I also, I like to mention for the fact that if this was the future, I don't believe that Broly would be actually be able to beat Super Saiyan 2 Trunks if it did happen around that time period. Because Trunks was Super Saiyan 2 when he fought Debora according to Super. So, yeah, no. Anyway, so if nothing else, a good thing about this is that this is one of those instances where Goku is not involved whatsoever in uh, the story. So. As a result, oh, let me just get the fast punish. As, as a result of that, um, this becomes way more interesting because one of the reasons why I'm really not a fan of Broly's Second Coming is because it it lays the foundations that Gohan is no longer eligible as the main character of Dragon Ball or as a protector of the Earth, and we're and we're trying to shift the focus back towards him relying on his dad, and Goten is there as well. And you can tell that, especially with the wish on the Dragon Balls made at the end of the movie, because it's like, there was just like a vague wish made, even though Bro Goku has explicitly been brought back once before, but Goku was just totally cool just coming back, and being like, Broly is my fight, you two, 
You two don't have to worry anymore. Uh, excuse me, what? Anyway, so... God damn. <laughs> the key blast is so effective against me, I will totally admit that. Ooh, that tipper range. Oop, okay. Oh, okay. That's one way to counter, I suppose. It's also fucking stupid because the second movie, it had an idea for a hell of a good good fight between Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, and Broly. Because even post Zenkai boost, like Gohan should have had a much better fight against him using Super Saiyan 2. But no, that's just not the case because can I just say that Broly's second coming is literally just like a dumpster fire? I I don't imagine a lot of people are gonna dispute that because going back and rewatching, it's like. Hey guys, did you remember when Broly was not like everyone the first time? Well, let's do it again. And I'm just like, there's money spent on this. Are you fucking kidding me? Apparently enough money in Japan was made in order to fund a second whole movie, so... Alright, sure. Ah, uh, Funimation didn't use licensed music for the second one, so yeah, it's even more terrible. <laughs> That's the w fucking dumbest grammatical sentence I've ever seen my in seen my life. I end your suffering. That's that sounds almost third person. Like that should say I will end your suffering or I'll end it. But no, just like I end it. <laughs> that is so dumb. My God. Anyway, doesn't go on a retreat or something. I can't win like this. I best retreat and read. There you go. Holy shit! Like Gohan's actually remembering old right. Even though I've been slacking off my for my training for seven years, I've also been studying non-stop, so therefore I should have at least a lot of cognizance and thought to have over Broly. Yeah, that should have been a, th a thing a lot sooner, but I guess not. Oh yeah, we're fighting Vegeta. I'm gonna fucking die if we are. Anyways, yeah, that's a big thing. I, God. The most interesting parts of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan vs. Broly is like that one pseudo camo clutch that Go uh, Broly had Gohan in. Which is the reverse, and then he flew into lava, and then Gohan was never in Super Saiyan again for the rest of the movie. Ugh, I fucking hate that so much. Because, at that point in time, there had never been a satisfying fight against Broly at all. And you could have done so much with it, but no, we had to keep the guys up. That Broly is big strong, bi big man, big fight, big dick energy, must go kill Goku, fight anyone na name, uh, named Goku. Fuck me running, that is such a boring movie right there. Oh god. But no, literally, you could have cut out the first 20 minutes of the movie, and it would have been still the same. <laughs> Ever mentioned that Broly movies are dumb? I can't just rely on my father Thank forever. you! Thank you! Thank you! Yes, you can't just rely on your dad forever, but... Mm, yeah, the, the series track Gurkha would have me believe otherwise. Yeah... I wish dad was here... Not Gohan saying that, but Goten. Jesus Christ, this series is terrible sometimes. Anyway... Yeah, so luckily we're fighting Gohan again. So it's unfortunate that just the sheer fact that Goku is not already found in this story mode at all, which is weird because Vegeta is also not present. It's odd. It just really rubs in the fact that yeah, this is kind of dog shit. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Anyway, this. Uh, wow, kind of the first one, not bad. <laughs> and this right here is more interesting than most of the exchanges in that movie. But no, they just had to keep the guys up of Broly being a big bad, big, uh, big man, big dick. Yeah. Broly smash. Alright, anyway. But yeah, I ever mentioned that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love the fact, love uh, Super Broly. It's because Broly doesn't start out just dominating. And he actually has more than a few lines. That's even better. Oops. Okay, that was a little too far out. Go for it. Okay, cool. I'm just trying. So usually with Broly, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, so no, I'm remembering the fact that I'm actually playing a game, guys. Don't worry. I'm trying to maintain pressure using my long ass limbs and as well as my high damage to my advantage. Oops. God, the fucking energy key blast is so effective against you. Oh yeah, no. If you're wondering if you're a fighters player and you use Broly there, no, his key blasts are nowhere near as effective in this game as they are in fighters. I know it's unfortunate, but. He, he wouldn't have that godly uh, keep out until that game. I, I guess you could argue it's also been kind of decent in like maybe BT3, maybe, but 
Nah, there you're more abusing his armor. Oh wait, did you go ultimate Gohan? Oh shit, okay, this is a little more fun now. You know, if you want to bring back... Okay, this is gonna sound stupid, but if you, if you did want to bring back Broly for like one more movie, where it was ultimate Gohan, Goku dead against like Super Saiyan 2, legendary Super Saiyan Broly or some dumb shit like that, that would be kind of cool. It would be, actually. Wait, is he not still ultimate, is he? I don't think so. No, he's not. He lost the key bars. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Whew. And that should hopefully be it for that story. But yeah, no, seriously, like, all of this, all, all of this meat of this story could have been used for Trunks, could have been used for Frieza's story, which was, which is in the game. Because Frieza, you can see on his little, like, weird car thing, or seat, seat chair thing, or even, like, anything else. Kid Trunks, Goten, something like that. Nope. You remember not even 10 minutes ago where Gohan was saying he can't keep relying on his father forever? Oh god damn it. This is literally the ending of the second movie. And as well as the ending of the first movie where we encounter Broly. Oh, Broly's being up literally every Z fighter. I guess we have to funnel everyone's energy into one character for an all out attack that will actually kill Broly. Supposedly. I hate shit so much sometimes. Also, this is the one time you'll get a unique ending. Supported by the words of his father, Gohan's final Kamehameha. <laughs> That's so Kamehameha. That's such a weird pronunciation of that. Oh yeah, Bro Earth's got a rip of heart for some odd reason. Broly was thus finally stopped by Goku's son, Gohan. Oh, oh, if only. No, it was a lot more of a tainted finish in the movie itself. Oh boy. Yeah, at least in the first movie, there was like, Goku did get a power up, but he was able to fight back against Broly too, but god damn it. It's just like, nah, even though I was getting my ass demolished for the last 20 minutes by Broly, I'm actually able, I do have enough energy output to kill him in one blow. Right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuck off.